NABSEP conference 2021 at the Knoxville Convention Center. Doing end phase commissioning hands on here outside. Not, probably not a good idea. <laughs> Got a 3K system on this side and a 10K on the other side. We actually chose not to have solar modules on top of this because we Envoy Smart like Switch. So we are K. shore power uh, to power decent power supply so that our people will light up. Right? So it's predictable. It's a pretty cool rig. That's the Victron Energy trailer. And they're doing like 50 stops around the country. I, I think they started, I don't know where they started, Oregon, I think. I talked to Alan Santos, who used to work for Magnum. And uh, he now works for Victron. So they're uh, touring the country. I didn't think they'd be leaving today. So I just caught them, they're, uh, they're heading out. They specialize in marine. So all of their inverters are very robust. Um, this RV is fully off grid. This <laughs> they have like a thousand SKUs of product, and um, it's just a really nice, well built product that is becoming more and more prevalent in the U.S. It's they're getting their UL certifications and heading this way. So um, something to consider. And they've gone high voltage on their MPPTs up to four MPPTs, 48 volt. Anything from 12, 24. They got some really good moves in transportation, marine, off grid, and uh, like I said, they're working their way to uh, to the U.S. So they seem to really have their act together. They're based in the Netherlands, uh, but you're going to see more and more of the blue, I believe. Hey, folks, Engineer 775 here. I'm at the Solar booth and uh, talking to the Solar crew. All these folks, all these guys I end up talking to on tech support. Their tech support is awesome. I think they hired another 25. They're really knocking it out of the park. So we're just here at the NABSEP conference in Knoxville, Tennessee, and they're debuting their uh, smart switch, their smart loads, 14. This A lot of people are doing this. Uh, the capabilities of this are awesome. We'll be showing these from time to time, more to come. And then the 15K came out, 15 kilowatt inverter. So I just got these brochures. They weren't able to bring an inverter to the show, but the 15K has, yes, a 200 amp pass-through, built-in transfer switch bypass. So really excited. I was hoping to put my hands on one, but this is what I have. They'll be out at the end of the year, both the 15K and the smart switch, the smart, loads 14 whole whole home energy solution and these are all 100 amp inputs so you can do some incredible uh, load shaving with this thing four millisecond transfer time just um, some really cool products coming out and i know they're going to debut more at spi in new orleans coming up in september but um having fun at nabsep catching up with folks and uh they're having a powwow. We've been having fun talking, hanging out with them. And uh, Bobna keeps them straight. She keeps everybody straight. <laughs> Thanks, Bobna. All right. I'll, more to come. much, much better situation now than we were uh, even then. Our whole, so this, this is a full, five millisecond transfer K. switch. Very, very fast. Um, second of all, um, the output is a lot more. It's only 15K on grid. Actually, this is a misnomer. It's, it's, it's 15K during the day. It's actually 12 kilowatts from the battery at nighttime, or, or for time of use or for s -chip. Um In addition, this generator input is a 100 amp breaker, so we can do up to 24 kilowatts of AC coupling or generator on that one. It has to be um, for split phase. Anyway, the load comes out, this is a 200 amp breaker for here, and then the gen has no breaker on the input. Um, and then here's your six, your three MPPTs with two connections each, and then a 300 amp uh, DC breaker here. Um, the, the benefit of ours is 14, 14 loads. Just getting here is the last day of the NABSEP conference. Um, 
Everybody's getting some breakfast and things haven't really cranked up yet. So just wanted to say that uh, if you ever do get to go to a NABSEP, it's a lot more educational than a typical, uh, say a Solar Power International, SPI or InterSolar. So that's pretty cool. But uh, you still have exhibitors and uh, batteries, racking, inverters, and but then you have a lot of classes talking about things like NEC code updates. That's what I'm in today, eight hours of NEC electrical code updates. It should be a, a blast. Um, so just a, just a different type of venue, but I'm glad I went. It was three hours from home, so I was able to drive, which is great. So we're just wrapping it up today. I'm not going to film sitting in a class. <laughs> But um, anyway, I just want to tell you about it if you're ever thinking about it. I'm in the process of getting my NABSEP installer certification, which uh, they keep changing the website and the rules and the portal and how to do it. So I'm going to be jumping through those hoops. And, uh, and in the meantime, I get to take a peek inside everybody's inverter. And this is a Chint, Chint Power Systems. Um, so everybody says they're better than everybody else. You know how it goes. So we're just uh, wrapping up, and people are just starting to come in and have a little bit of breakfast. So it's just the setup here. It's not cranking yet. It's usually packed full. Um, so enjoyed it. Got to meet a lot of cool people. Got to get. I guess I learn more from hanging out with some of the guys than I do um, talking to going to the classes. So anyway, had a lot of fun, and uh, highly encourage it. If you want to nerd out on solar, go to a NABSEP conference and you'll learn a lot. All right, this is Engineer 775 signing out.